Hello, I'm Sam Stovall, U.S. Equity Strategist for S&P Capital IQ. In this week's Sector Watch, I discuss the historical performance of stocks during the second quarter of the year. Like most middle children, the second quarter of the year tends to get overlooked. Since 1945, the S&P 500 recorded an average price change of positive 1.9% during the second quarter and rose in price 61% of the time. What's more, unlike T.S. Eliot's admonition, April is not the cruelest month, at least for the market, as April's average performance since World War II ranked number two of 12. Catalysts for the second quarter could be reverse images of the first quarter. There is little chance of a paralyzing snowfall. The West Coast port strike has been resolved. The U.S. dollar may undergo some digestion of recent gains as the market anticipates the Fed will probably delay its rate tightening program. And the bar is already set so low for first quarter earnings that they will likely surprise to the upside. That said, the market does appear to be entering the quarter with a bit of trepidation. The relative strength of the S&P 500 low volatility versus high beta and high quality versus low quality indexes implied an increasing preference for companies with lower volatility and more consistent track records of raising earnings and dividends. So there you have it. History says, but does not guarantee, that the second quarter is notorious for hitting singles rather than reaching for the fences, as the market and its sectors quietly posted favorable results during the past 25 years. I'm Sam Stovall. I'll talk with you again next week.